Guys, we're throwing a big party because it's my great grandmother's 100th birthday party. Actually, she turned 100 on Monday, and this is Saturday. But she's 100 and a few days old. That's a truly sudden to celebrate. There she is, blue dress. You know, this is essentially going to function as a family reunion as well because uh, everyone's going to want to come around for this. Very nearly so. You know what I say? Now it's a party. There's still more people showing up too. Oh, 
on the double, on the heavenly's inside. When it's darkness, on the double, let me linger in the shelter of the night. Oh, let me linger in the shelter of the night. party was a great success. Everyone had a wonderful time. The food was great. The entertainment was top-notch. Uh, and we're left with a good problem to have. We massively overprepared the food for the event. I don't think we even got through half of the food that we made. Which is kind of good, because we brought it all home, and now we have food to eat for the entire next month. Guess for it, what we're eating for the entirety of the next month pasta. Hey, it's good pasta. Some of it's gluten-free pasta. Make of that what you will. It's kind of nice. So, uh... Oh yeah, I got something to show you. So, a week ago, I said I would finish a painting, and today I did. Yay! It just took me a week. So, these two I compare and contrast because I used different techniques. Or rather, I used a new technique for this picture. Allow me to explain this one. So this picture uh, essentially creates the illusion of a tower. Or rather, it creates the illusion that this tower is in specific uh, segments, which it technically isn't, but it sort of is. But there's a problem. See, in order to get these straight lines, uh, I tape it in, or I frame it in using tape. And then when I'm done, I have to peel the tape off to get the other parts in. And the tape is wonderful at tearing the paper off, even tearing the paint off of the surface of the, pa of the uh, paint paper. I wanted to say page or paint. But no, it tears the paint off of the page of paper. And so I got all these really awful, really terrible tears. And it just looks bad. So I, this is something that I experienced in my college class for 2D design, is a lot of this tearing and just the... I mean, look at that. It's... That's awful. So, for this one I decided to do something to prepare the paper. I used black spray paint and I just painted right on top of the spray paint. There's a little error where I got some green paint right there. Or no, I think that's yellow. Anyway, uh, that's my own design flaw. But other than that, uh, that is a world of difference. Uh, it looks pretty good. Um, 
the flaws are kind of structural, meaning that uh, I didn't necessarily carve out the whole thing beforehand. I sort of went as I... I painted the first segment, and then I measured out the next segment, and once I painted it in, I measured out the next one. Well, if I was more professional, I would have measured all this out beforehand and had a really clear b blueprint before I started. As it is, I like how it's turned out so far, and it's given me a lot of really useful knowledge. A, a lot of re really useful data as to how to go about uh, this painting stuff, which I would like to do a lot more often and get around to much more consistently. So there's that contrast, is using spray paint beforehand it makes a really good base compared to just using plain paper, which tears oh so nicely right into the paint and does an awful job. Now, this is a, a paper, which is compared to cloth um, canvases, which is something else that I'm working on. You see this piece, I put black gouache all over the surface, and then I painted a blue, a light blue gouache over the black wash, and that didn't turn out too well. There's a lot of splotches. The lines are nowhere as neat as I would have liked them, compared to if I were to use spray paint, much like I did up there. This is a sp uh, spray paint black base with uh, gouache on top. But I'm still working on the technique with cloth. It is different than paper. It's something I'm still working on. And this is a piece I'm not finished with yet. So that's something uh, I hope to be showing you, if not tomorrow, the day after, is the contrast between these two techniques. And I'll tell you which one has better results as far as how I'm capable of working on it.